Hey, my name is Javi, and we're looking at the Killer Body Transformers Optimus Prime helmet from the movie Bumblebee, which I actually watched. Did you get the memo? Please stop asking. <laughs> Javi actually watched something? It really is. Hockey season. I have no father figure. Happy Halloween, by the way. Sucks that this costume is still relevant, huh? All right, so first things first. Take off these little doodads from the bottom, put it on your head, and then... Damn, that startup sound is loud. Not a bad fit, and it does a good job at hiding your identity. But not as good as Surfshark VPN, the sponsor of this video. Surfshark is a virtual private network that's available for pretty much everything, and it allows you to browse the web through a secure and private connection. You can even use it to get better deals online. I recommend checking out this article by Surfshark themselves to help you out. Links in the description. Very important to learn considering Black Friday's coming up. Don't forget to spend. Spend! Spend! Good luck to you and your wallet. And of course, you can switch locations to watch region lock content on Netflix. For example, Bumblebee. Not available in the US, but available in Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, and Mexico. So instead of getting a whole nother streaming service, use the one that you already have. Check out the link in the description and use my promo code JOBBY to get 83% off and three extra months free. And if you're not feeling it, or for some reason you like being watched by every website you visit, there's the 30 day money back guarantee. My particular helmet came in an ugly cardboard box with no instructions. I'd hope the retail version has better presentation. And full disclosure, I got this for free from the store that's in the description. They sent it to me like four years before this thing actually came out. Sorry for the delay. It should be obvious by now that my time management stinks. Anyway, the painting and sculpting on this thing is amazing. It's an almost perfect recreation of his on-screen appearance, which is my favorite live-action Optimus Prime design. The flames were always lame. And one of my favorite Optimus Prime designs in general. Usually when I think of a wearable piece of toy, I think of a cheap looking voice changer. But this thing, I've never seen a wearable toy of this visual caliber. This has enough precise mechanical detail to make it feel like a movie prop. Check out the subtle shading and the realistic weathering. It really does look hand painted. Probably was hand painted by some poor ching chong. You could even ask my friends next time they're on stream. When they first saw it, they thought this was custom made like I'd commission somebody to make it. But no, this is mass produced and available for purchase through the link in the description. It's currently sold out, goddammit. That price though. Uh, uh. If you actually buy the stuff I review, that's on you. And despite the apparent lack of eye holes, you can see clearly out of this thing when you're wearing it. But it's kind of wobbly on my head, no straps or anything for a more secure fit. If there was a way to secure this, it would make for decent protective gear since it's high quality, solid, sturdy plastic. Please don't use this as protective gear. <laughs> Oh, so pretty dang heavy. What a neck workout. Forget about that swivel at the neck. My head might come off. <laughs> ah! It does have an auto shutdown feature and it always jump scares the hell out of me. I assume the heft is due to the electronic components. The light up eyes and the startup sound are just the tip of the ion blaster. It's powered by four AA batteries, not included. The connection of the compartment is kind of ass. And you push this button to play some potentially copy strikeable material. Let's hope this review doesn't get taken down. Autobots, transform and roll out. For the moving parts, exercise a little bit of caution. You could get pinched in here. I am a ah, shit. Peter Cullen's Autobots, voice comes booming out of this surprisingly high quality speaker. I am Optimus Prime. That iconic performance and the animatronics are absolutely amazing. I love it. I I am am Prime. This thing is crazy loud, especially when you're inside. Like your mom. Fortunately for my elderly ears, you get a really well hidden volume control knob at the back of the head. And if you turn the volume all the way down, his mouth will move without playing the voice clip. So you can make Optimus say whatever you want. It's time to contain the China virus. <laughs> and if you haven't noticed yet, you only get those two voice lines. Did I mention this thing cost a nut and a half? Oh wait, I got this for free. Why did I do that? to myself let's not think about it let's get into his next feature plug in this included usb-c cable and plug the end into a standard Shit. usb power source push down on the other knob next to the volume control for a few seconds and go to your phone and connect to the helmet via bluetooth <laughs> and that sound just means you're connected <laughs> you
You bet you're missing testes. This is a wearable boombox. You can even turn that Bluetooth knob to skip a track. Or go back to one. But unfortunately, the Bluetooth feature only works when it's plugged in. Not too big of a problem if you have an extra long USB-C cable and a power bank. <laughs> Forget about that stupid banana costume or whatever smelly 40-year-olds used to pick up college girls. This will be the talk of your next Halloween party. Or your next session, since you don't go outside. On a completely unrelated note, November's coming up. Godspeed. If the helmet was a bit lighter, I would wear this all night. You might already see it on camera, but this thing is huge in person. Like... My Figma Madoka Kaname, SH Monster Arts Godzilla, Toy World Freedom Leader, a third party version of Bumblebee Optimus Prime, my previous review, the Mastermind Creations Bat I mean Vexo Promenade, and some of my other headgear. Obviously, this thing doesn't feature a transformation, but I'm Optimus Prime, I could do it myself. Love the shit out of this thing, but the price and the sold outness makes it a little hard to recommend. But I'll do it anyway. Buy it when you can. <coughs> Needless to say, you know who I'm dressing up as for Halloween. <laughs> November's coming up. I'm gonna bust.